Come on, I come here. Let me give you a brief outcome of this boy's survival or living in this world. Julius, Julius, I mean Elias, was born 17th January 1988. That gives you a lost him at 34. The parents of Ejoku are Amuge, Julian, whom they have shown to you, and Papake, the father. Is a Jacquette Ogan Olebe Francis. Francis are a young and a young man. I would never have my life. You want to look up and look up, Miriki Rayama as a winner. Baba Maracacosi. I like who spoke. A Jassi Elias Kerata Taki. I'm a young grace. I think the grandmother, they introduce her to you. And I think most of his life was with her. He grew under her care. The rest of the story is history. Now, Elias has got Anakanaki and Anakanaki siblings. I'm going to tell Yet I'm telling him, Barbara Ayu. Barbara Ayu, there's a room with those Canadians, are a little bit of Elias. Otto Mauri, Eliakati, Francis, Ogai, or Lebe. I'm trying to say for a moment that Elias and Barbara, who are speaking here, are the first children of Amuge and Ogai. After that, Elias got other siblings. Who are to Narika and they are going to introduce themselves here. Obreyalona and Amesu Patrick, they were introduced. Now, education of this gentleman, I think they are already, his colleagues, the OPs or Gs, have already talked about it. But here we just summarized, throw them, we want P7. So senior, secondary school, S1, S4. Since so senior, secondary, S5, S6. Went to, went to Moltec, business school for a diploma. That is, I think, in IT. He also continued with Trisan University in Mukono and got a certificate in IT still, networking. Yeah? <laughs> and then eventually went for a Bachelor of Science degree. In IT, or information technology. She will be looking at a computer to no university. After that, he tried to get some employment. Still on a computer. This body, it is from my lessee. Some other environment program, some other Uganda Christian University itself, some other formula. And then lastly, Somata Kamogo University, who have a specialist in contact development. He has to be on those computer. You know all that about content development or whatever. That is what Elias did at Ashoman. Now, you don't forget, that's why I think you are seeing everybody here from National Unity Party. National Unity Party, Yalama so, because this was your member. So Yalama so, we are so happy that you have come to sign him off. It shows you loved him and it showed this, 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 this clan or this family. They love because one of your MPs in the parliament gave us an ambulance to bring you to Teso. Thank you very much for that. You also helped us to buy this coffee. That's another thank you. You also helped us as transmission to do that grill. Thank you. Now, 
Tout à la loi, Elias, came to me because the man speaking here is Elias' uncle, senior. And I met her to Elias. No man, no man, you know that I met at Elias. I even encouraged Elias to get to you because he said, Uncle, I know you are NRM, but I'm not going to join you. I'm going to a, a new party of the youth. That's how we managed to do what? To join, to join NRM mini group. But ladies and gentlemen, just see that the just preached him and took him to Mulago, booked him in that police place, and they left. They thought the hospital would take it up there. So Sunday at 1 o'clock, that is when we discovered that this boy had been killed. Oh, he was there. That is now, you know, confusion coming between me, my sisters, his aunties. And then those two gentlemen and the police. We started running around. But when we went to the police station all over Kampala, we could trace the body. So our minds all came and said, let's try and work. And we got it, the body there. So actually this boy, according to the postmortem, because we attended the postmortem, so we did get the report. He was hit by a blunt object. It must have been a liver or whatever. Because we discovered there was a, a big hole here, and then the jaw was broken, then somewhere the, below here there was also a wound. So definitely, this, the doctor who did him told us that the boy died out of internal bleeding because the blood was not coming out. So that is what they told us in Mulago. That's how we would have lost Elias. So for us now, we had no time to go to police and say, let's get more details, what, what, what we said. Let's take the body first to, to Soroti, bury it, then maybe we can come and follow. Some of you know, these people took away a laptop and a phone from him, but left money, 250,000, in his jacket. So we don't know whatever, but. That's how the boy died. 